Hello friends, welcome to MongoDB with C Sharp Beginners Tutorial. So this is the 14th video of this tutorial series. So in this video, uh, we are going to cover more about uh, the Unwind functionality and uh, uh, the arrays in MongoDB. So in the previous video, uh, we have uh, already covered uh, how to use uh, string array or uh, a normal integer array. In our previous video, we have used an example of a string array how we can use a string array and how we can use the unwind function to flatten the list which we are getting as a result from MongoDB. So if you're watching this video, uh, watching the video series for the first time, uh, I suggest you to watch previous videos, then you will get a better idea. So uh, you can find uh, the playlist link and all of the video links of this tutorial series in the description. So we request you to support us by subscribing to the channel and liking the videos. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get notified once we upload new videos. So let us start the session now. Uh, so I have uh, taken the previous project which we have used uh, to show how we can use the arrays and unwind function. So in this I am uh, just showing you one more time uh, how we are receiving the result from the database so here we have used the unbin function now i'm just running the application okay so here we are getting the result like this uh, so we have product with product code 001 and uh, colors black then uh, same product with another color white now same product with another color red now a different product code 002 with a, with a color orange and uh, product code with uh, purple so now uh, if you uh, see here in our database <coughs> I'm offering the product collection okay so you can see now we have two different records uh, okay I'm just converting into text mode so you can see here now the product code with 001 and the field name is colors we have used the field name colors here so when we are uh, un uh, when we are returning the values using unwind function still the field name is colors but it will return each colors in separate records that is what we are using the unwind function so the if you if we need to change the field name instead of colors if we need to get color i will show you how we can do that so i'm just stopping the application so now just opening the model class product so this is the class which we are using for the unwind function so basically after unwind the uh, the result will be returned in this particular class so here we can see anyway the mongodb uh, will return the field name as colors only why because uh, our main field name is colors in the database so mongodb will return with the same field name colors but if we in the application if we need to change the name we can change it here so here instead of colors i'm giving color and not changing the bison element why because mongodb will return in colors uh, the, the value or uh, the field name will be colors so i'm not changing it here i'm just changing the element name in the object instead of colors i'm using color now i'm running the application again so now you can see yes the application is running now now if you are checking out the results so you can see now uh, the field, the element name has been changed. Now in color, it is returning black and product name, product ID, product code, everything is coming. Now the next white product code again, 001 and uh, here red, 001. So in this way, we can change uh, the element name here in the application. Okay. Now we are going to check how we can use instead of a list of string or a array string array we if we need to use an object array 
how we can do the same kind of operation like how we can unwind and how we can insert and update the values so let us check how we can do it so for that now I'm making some changes in the model class so I'm just creating one more class here public class product variant sorry sorry one moment uh, yeah product variant and inside product variant uh, we are having same uh, uh, a string with color okay now let us assume for each colors we need have uh, or we are having different uh, prices so in that case we have to mention price inside the variant okay now here for price i'm giving the same attributes and for color i'm giving attributes bison element color then uh, bison representation of bison type string okay now from the main product class i'm removing price why because we don't need price here now the price is inside the variant and uh, here i am using a list of product variant so product variant list okay and i'm changing the bison element name product variant list okay fine so now product variant list will be having multiple variants of the same product this is what we need to achieve and in product unwind result we need yeah we need in the same way but uh, there will be a small difference that i will show you first let us insert some values so for uh, inserting values i'm just commenting this out okay so now we have product collection here now i am uh, declaring a product list is equal to new list of product okay new product now the product name we can name it as product 1001 and product code is equal to 1001 now product variant list is equal to new list of product variant so inside that we can mention the variants now color for example black and for black color we have a price of 10 okay now i am mentioning another variant uh white and uh, for white variant uh, the price is 12 and then we have a blue for blue variant the price is 50 okay so there are three different variants for a single product now let us create one more product <laughs> so the product code product name is one double zero sorry one zero 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 two one zero 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 two product code and here we have two variants two variants is enough so orange and yellow so for orange the price is 30 and for yellow the price is 35 okay and now we are inserting sorry product collection dot insert many i'm using the insert many function to insert the product list okay so now this should insert this product list to our database so 
I am doing one thing. I am just removing the existing collection. So it will remove the data as well. Fine. Now we don't have any collection in our database. I am running the application. Yeah, the application is running now. So the process got completed. Now let us check in our database. I'm refreshing the collections. Yes, one collection got created, product. I'm changing it to text mode. So you can see now, here we have a field name product variant list. And inside that there is an array of product variants. Color black, price is number decimal of 10. Again, color white, price is number decimal of 12. Blue, number decimal of 15. In the same way, we have a second, one more product. That is product 10002 orange and yellow and with different prices okay fine now let us remove this insertion function we don't need it now we already have inserted the values okay now let us check how we can do the unwind function so in order to get the unwind result here in the unwind class or the unwind result class, we have to do some modification. Uh, we should, okay. So this is enough. And uh, now what we need to do is we need to remove this color and product from here. Okay. Now uh, I'm using, I'm just copying this particular element from the product class. Fine. Now here, instead of a list, database will return a single product variant object. And as I mentioned before, the database will return the field name that is product variant list. But in application, we can change it by removing the list from here. So product variant will be the object name. Okay. Now I'm just using uh, the same unwin function so here the only difference what we need to do is instead of colors we have to use product variant list okay in the previous video we have used colors to unwit now in this we are using the product variant list now i am running the application so let us check how the result is coming okay now the database has returned five different where uh, result five different records so here you can see the first one is product 1001 product ID product and there is a product variant object inside that we can see color is black and price is 10 okay now in the second record it will be the same product 10001 but with a different variant white 12 and the third will also be the same like uh, same product with a different variant blue 15 okay now the third sorry now the fourth record is the second product 1002 but and the variant is orange 30 and same product with the next variant yellow 35 so this is how we can use some complex objects like this a variant you can have as many elements you need in this class or in a array class okay and we can do the unwind functionality like this hope you got the logic how this unwind function will work and uh, if you need to completely flatten this list what you can do is you can just give two enumerable here okay then dot select is such that new and we are creating a dynamic list here so a dot product id then a dot product code a dot product name then a dot product variant dot color now a dot product variant dot price so this will be a completely flattened list i will show you how it is returning the values yes now if we check the data see uh, in a uh, th there is no inner elements uh, sorry there is no inner objects it is completely flattened so product name product id product code and price and color is also coming in the same uh, 
hierarchy so he, in this way we can completely flatten uh, completely flatten the list by using this two enumerable and select command so hope you got the logic and please like the video if you enjoyed it and uh, please subscribe the channel so you will get updated when once we upload new videos so see you in the next video thank you all